All right, this is just a quick update on the reflection capture video. Uh, I figured out, whoa, another feature of the reflection capture. Um, they've added this. I'm going to drop my details panel over. Whoa, take up all my screen, huh? In here, there's a capture offset here. And this lets you uh, move where the actual capture is happening. This is handy because the center of this is where you want to define your room and the bounds of where the reflection uh, affects the geometry. Um, but you don't necessarily want to capture the image from here. Our main reflector in here is this mirror. And you know the reflection doesn't really match up because the mirror is on the other side of this door. So it should be seeing the back side of this door instead of the front side of the store. It doesn't really make sense. So we can use the offset. So we can move it along the x-axis and I'm, whoa, hey, got a little little hitch there. Hold on. Mm, fascinating. Um, I'm going to turn off screen space reflections. <laughs> That's an interesting choice I made. Let's uh, redo that, and that'll recapture. So I'll uh, just move this along here. Keep moving it. Where is it? There we go. So you can see that little smaller reflection actor. And I can put it right up next to the mirror. And now our mirror is reflecting the room from the mirror's point of view. So that looks a lot better. So that's... Uh, 125. So if I undo it, we can take a look. That's not right. 125. And then we'll turn back on screen space reflections and uh, go back to game mode. And it helps it all just match up a little better. Uh, in fact, with some of these techniques, I'm tempted to just turn off screen space reflections. All right. Thanks for watching.